This week on the Spotlight, the Bulls coach Tibbs has some thoughts about the upcoming season. And we go to Sullivan's on 147th, and fans and staff speak out about the Bears game. Uh, We'll show you a little bit about the Bears' rough loss, and Frank Thomas will speak. Congratulations, Pat. 1,000 shows. I mean, you've been around a long time. I think I've seen most of them. Check out my website, Benkowski.com, for my weekly article and up-to-the-minute trivia sites. From wherever Chicago sports teams are making news, this is the 25th year of the Lansing Floral Sports Spotlight. Flowers for every imaginable occasion at Lansing Floral Shop. Call them at 708-474-1212. They deliver. You've got to get to the Cove. They'll have my trivia game Wednesday, November 5th at 8 p.m. Great people, great game. Easy to reach at 1750 East 55th Street, right by the lake. The Cove and my trivia game, November 5th. You've got to get to Wax On, Wax Off Salon and Spa at 1044 West Taylor Street in Chicago. The phone number 312-226-1473. With a 30-year Southwest Side tradition, Huckfin is open 24 hours to serve you with great breakfasts like the Becky Thatcher, soups, great lunches, one-third pound burgers, clubs, and much more. Dinners from seafood to steaks to pasta, great donuts, and ice creams. With three locations at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero, stop in today. You know Huckfin is open. The T-Wax Company has money-making opportunities in the area of real estate. Buy Chicagoland properties. Profit opportunities since 1985. Call my friend Mr. Thomas at 773-456-3057. Want to make money? Call the T-Wax Company. Union Park Bar and Grill, a great place. Open at 11 a.m. daily at Jackson Racine. A huge full bar. Tons of screens. Great sandwiches and appetizers. Great staff. They got a parking lot. Daily specials. Always fun. I always have a good time at Union Park Bar and Grill. You've got to get to Amelia's Bar and Grill. They're open for lunch and dinner daily at 46th and Halsted. Limo de Cerdo, Potrero and Mar. Ceviche al Limon. Salmon al Carbon. A new cocktail menu. Margaritas, Martinez, Sangria, and so much more. At Amelia's Bar and Grill... 46th and Halsted. Lisa Davis, insurance and tax services can help you at 107th and Western, specializing in rollovers, tax recovery, tax resolution, and insurance for your business, auto, home, or life. Call them at 773-873-8977. They'll help you like they helped me. Lisa Davis, services. You're watching Tabo Cephalosha of the Atlanta Hawks and former Bull, They, of course, are interspersed throughout the league as a myriad of players who have played with the Bulls in the 2000s find themselves elsewhere, that is, modern sports in North America. But right now we're talking about the 2014-15 Bulls. Coach Tom Thibodeau analyzes them and uh, has a very interesting and almost laid back, at least for Tibbs, thought process about playing time, minutes, and the approach to the preseason and learning his roster. Like Doug McDermott, is there anything you didn't know about him or are learning about him now? Something that maybe he's better at than you thought? Well, he scores a lot of different ways. I mean, obviously, when you watch him in college, you see that they, you know, that's, that's, he just found a lot of different ways to, to score in uh you know, he doesn't get discouraged. He, you know, he's had people prepare for him, so he knows how to find shots. He knows how to get open. He knows how to move to an open area. He reads things well. Um, his rebounding has been good. Uh, but you know, like when you when you when you coach a guy every day, or when you have an opportunity to watch him in practice, just the way he works. You know, like and you see, okay, that's you know that wasn't an accident. He prepared himself to to do those things. He's, you know, hardworking, smart, tough. Um, he has all the characteristics that, that we like. So uh, I think he's, he's uh, a good player because of the way he works at it. Will this combination of players 
give you different opportunities for different minute distribution that, that well, you might not have had in the well, past? We're a deeper team. You know, like this team is more similar to the first two years when we had, you know, a good, you know, bench. So that, that part is a, is a positive. Now, what you don't know is, you know, injuries are part of the game, so you don't know, you know, what that does to your team. You know, and you have to look at that. But, uh, you know, at least, you know, we feel like we've got, you know, good point guard situation, we have good wings, and we have good quality depth up front. Doug's talked about how big of an influence Kyle Corbin has been on him. Do you see any similarities in the way that they work or the way that they prepare for games? Uh, yeah, there are some, but they're different. They're, you know, uh, you know, and Kyle obviously his his experience, uh, you know, has helped him a lot each year. I think he's he's learned. He, you know, I watch him now, and you know, he's he's always adding to his game. And um, I know, you know, uh, Kyle and and Doug have talked quite a bit and spent some time together. So, and uh, when you have a guy like that to help you and mentor you, uh, it, you know, that's a huge positive. And, uh, the way Kyle worked uh, year-round to prepare himself for a season, uh, you know, I think that that's why he's continued to improve throughout his career. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's great when, and to be able to share that with a guy like Doug. And there are some sim similarities in terms of how they find shots. You know, they, they know how to get to an open area. They know how to lose people. They know how to create separation. Um, you know, it's... Kyle's not the fastest guy in the world, but he's a much better athlete than he's given credit for. Uh, but he's he's real clever. Tom, with so many new pieces this year, can you talk a little bit about where you feel like the team is at defensively right now and what challenges the Atlanta offense presents? Well, the, you know, Atlanta's a free-flowing. They shoot the three great. You know, they have triple penetration set up with, with their guards and Millsap's a tough matchup, and the, the thing is, uh, you know, they, were, they had a great year last year when you factor in Horford being out. You know, uh, now they get Horford back, and they've got uh, they got a lot of great weapons. They can spread you out. They attack. Um, so, you know, the the challenge is to contain the dribble, and then to also cover the line. And, and when you're covering the line, you can't you know leak out because then you're going to have a lot you know long rebounds. Um, so finishing your defense against them is critical. Uh, you have to have a multiple effort mentality uh, in terms of our defense where we are right now. You know that like everything else, there's some good and there's some things that need to be cleaned up. So uh, we have to continue to work at it. Um, but overall, it, it's it's pretty good. Thank you. Yep. Thanks. Thanks. You've got to get to Lansing Floral Shop. Open at 8 a.m. daily. Besides a great array of live flowers, they have custom silks, Bridgewater candles. They want you to plan your parties early at a wide delivery area. They're located at 3420 Ridge Road in Lansing, or you can call 708-474-1212. Weddings, funerals, birthdays, anniversaries, and guys, try the No Reason Flower. Believe me, it works. Lansing Floral Shop. Give them a call, 708-474-1212. Kim G. Sherman, psychotherapist, Displains Wellness Center. Therapy for individuals, couples, families. Call 847-962-4849. I've known Kim for over 20 years. She is a true professional, and she will help you. Give her a call. Cornelio's Mobile Auto Glass. They come to you. You call them at 773-908-6081. Lowest prices, new and used, open Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. They'll do your windshield, back window, or sides. They did a great job for me. They'll do a great job for you, and you'll be amazed at how quickly they come in and finish it up. Cornelio's Mobile Auto Glass. Nuevo Leon, for the best Mexican cuisine since 1962. Serving every day from 7 a.m. to midnight, conveniently located 1515 West 18th Street, just a block east of Ashland in Chicago. Of course, they have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and a wide range of menu items. Everything from steak, seafood, to breakfast, to chicken, pork, dine-in, carry-out. 
tacos enchiladas, everything you can imagine, and great quality in Nuevo Leon, 1515 West 18. Little did we know that when Brady found Gronkowski and New England went up 7 nothing, it would be the beginning of a very, very bad day. So early in the second quarter, the Patriots have scored twice, but the goal line stand was kind of good. Let's talk to some folks and see what they think. Tell us your name and what you think of the game so far. My name's Bill. The goal line stand was excellent. I don't understand how New England got to kick a field goal when it was fourth down when they were held. Oh, um, there was an illegal procedure penalty that, that uh, forced the whistle. The whistle blew before, before the play. So it was, uh, it was an automatic uh, five-yard penalty. I thought maybe if you go to New England, they had new rules there. <laughs> yeah, I know. There were, uh, in, in, speaking of that, a couple of the Bears receivers looked like they were roughed up before the ball got there. Did you think that? Uh, they actually were getting picked on a lot, and the refs are not throwing flags for the Bears. It's all New England. Well, maybe it'll work both ways. Maybe the Bears can get in there and, and hit them a little bit early, but... Uh, do, you, do you still have faith that the, that the Bears could come from behind here? No. This game's over. Yeah. Two touchdowns and you're back in it. All I want is zero Bears, three New England, and I win 2,400. <laughs> <laughs> he's, a, he's got a square. It, I get that. Although there must be a combination in which the Bears win that. All right, more folks here at Sullivan's with their with their thoughts. Tell us your name and what you like about Sullivan's. My name is Laura, and we come to Sullivan's, and we, we enjoy the company, and it's a neighborhood bar. All right, let's move along. All right, that was a, kind of a crazy first quarter, early second quarter. Uh, tell us your name, and if you think the Bears can dig out of this hole. Uh, my name's Jamie Krabakis, and oh, I think we're going to be watching uh, Brady get first downs all day. Just the way it is. Bears, Bears defense is not playing what they should. Nice stance at the goal. And then that crappy call of false start. And then they get a second chance to score. Doesn't really make sense to me. They didn't stop the play. Kind of yeah, frustrating. I, I, I agree with you. And I also think that it looks like the New England uh, defensive backs are a little early hitting the Bears receivers. Have you noticed that? Yes, I have noticed that. And then it seems like they're getting away with it. But that's the home team there. So, I, you know, there's always a little edge when you play at home. Yeah, although the Bears aren't noticing that this year. Right, that, no, not at all. Not at all. So what, with all the talent they have, it's kind of, it's, it's not what anybody expected. It's frustrating. Yeah, very frustrating. But see, that's why I ha always have a backup team. Okay. Go Chargers. Really? <laughs> Gotta have a backup. Hey, they came through for me a few times on the spread. Have, have they? All right, good. But yeah, always, I'm a Cubs fan, and then I have a, the Padres as my backup team, too. Always a backup team here in Chicago. Well, the San Diego climate's pretty good, too. Real nice. All right, thank you. Thank you. All right, one more time. Let's find out your name, and uh, oh, you're, you're going to retire from the show already? All right, well, that, you guys, anyway. we're, uh, I'm Ben Kowski, and he's Donahue. And uh, we're doing this show for the last 27 years, and you could be on it if you want. In relation to what? We're talking about either what you think about the bar or what you think about the Bears. Bears, bears suck. <laughs> okay, how about the bar? Uh, bar's good. I like the bar. <laughs> That's it. That'll cover us. All right. That was very succinct. <laughs> bears suck. Bar good. Matt Forte scores a touchdown for the Bears. But New England keeps pounding away. It was 38-7 at the half. So the halftime score is pretty frightening. We'll put that on hold. And just remind you that when you come to Sullivan's, one of the first people you'll often see is right here. It's good to see a smiling face. Tell everybody who you are. Megan. And when you come to work at Sullivan's, what are some of the things you like about the place? The good people, good food. Good drink. Good drinks. <laughs> okay. And c this uh, Irish pub atmosphere, um, is this maybe one of the biggest bars you ever worked in? Yes, it is. And they got something special planned for Halloween? Taking my son trick-or-treating. There you go. Well, she'll be off, but the place will be wide open for business that day. And uh, a lot of special events, including my trivia games, you got to check that out uh, in November. My trivia game will be here, and uh, more on that in a moment. But let's talk to some of her coworkers. 
So we found our server. She's running around like crazy and doing a good job. Tell everybody your name and why you like Sullivan's. My name is Caitlin Gennard. I love Sullivan's. It's my first day back. and I'm not leaving this place again. All right, that's cool. And what are some of the cool things about this place? The people that come in here, the customers, they're friendly, loving, and they welcome you in almost as if it's like a home. Yeah, kind of a family. Yes, it's like a big family. Sullivan's is a big family. Well, I know you're anxious to go pour some drinks or get some stuff, so we'll let you go. All right, well, thank you very much. And remember, come to Sullivan's. Cool. All right, I don't know how I could be laughing in view of that half, but uh, it's so cheery here at Sullivan's. They defeat the Bears' defeat, if that makes any sense. Tell everybody your name and about your jersey. <laughs> my name is Crystal, and my jersey is from Pink from Victoria's Secret. Not sure whose number this is. I think it's just their number that they use, but it does say, Shake Up the Lake. So, go Bears. Yeah, I, there's been 20s over the years, but um, no, nobody of any fame right now. Um, but when, uh, when you come to work, what are some of the things you look forward to? Oh, great people, good atmosphere, great music. It just is a lot of fun. I look forward to it every day. Yeah, you, you look like you're enjoying yourself. Now, are, are some of the Bears fans getting a little aggravated? How are you dealing with that? No, they're okay. Everybody's pretty cool. They're all mellow out, so they know how they know how the season goes usually. So, well, we won't even talk anymore about this game. <laughs> we'll uh, try to find one of your coworkers. With a 30 year Southwest Side tradition, Huckfin is open 24 hours to serve you with great breakfasts like the Becky Thatcher, soups, great lunches, one third pound burgers, clubs, and much more. Dinners from seafood to steaks to pasta, great donuts, and ice creams. With three locations at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero, stop in today. You know Huckfin is open. Go play at Red Shoes Billiards, 12009 South Pulaski in Austin, featuring 16 Brunswick Gold Crown pool tables, drop fluorescent lighting fixtures, and the fabulous grade of cloth. Call 708-388-3700. And now video gaming is available at Red Shoes from open till close. And don't forget, the Illinois Lottery 2. That's Red Shoe Billiards, 12009 South Pulaski. You know you should get to the Dirty Sock on alternate Thursdays at 8 p.m. when I do my trivia game. They have great food, great drink, great people at 93rd and Roberts Road. It's a fun place. I've been going there for years. So start coming out on Thursday nights at least. I'll see you at 8 o'clock. We'll have fun. Perfect Pitch Auto Repair at 108th and Kedzie. Those tune-ups, transmission, AC service, engine repair, tire repair, oil changes, and emission system repair. They're open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., and they've done a great job for me. Perfect Pitch Auto Repair at 108th and Kedzie. Here's a combination that'll make a Bears fan puke. Tom Brady to Gronkowski. Oh, about 46 yards for a score. They're starting to run it up, quite frankly. All right, so the game still blows. But the fun is still here. Everybody's smiling and laughing here at Sullivan's. Tell everybody your name and why you like this bar. Uh, my name is Dee, um, and I don't know, it's just really fun. They had good food at halftime and fun game, even though they lost. Oh, yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not completely over, but you're right. It, it is a loss. Okay, um, talk about your friendship and say what your name is and why you like the bar. Um... Hey, I'm here with all of these guys. We've been friends for a year. This yeah. is my first game I've even got out because I work too much. I love this bar. It's a nice atmosphere. It's a beautiful beer garden. Although I thought I was going to be getting some sun, yeah. but now it's covered up. But that's okay. All right. Uh, Mr. X going to talk? Mr. X, are you talking? No, we're good. Okay. All right. It's okay. Uh, anyway, people are still having a good time, knocking down some cocktails. The food is excellent. That halftime spread is pretty excellent. And uh, we recommend you come out. We, you don't know how the Bears are going to do from here on out, but uh, just come out for the party. You know, just, just it'll be up on the screens. You can ignore it if you want to. Just enjoy the people. There's a consolation touchdown pass to Alshon Jeffrey, if it makes you feel any better. 
doesn't for me. So it was a rough game today, but we're going to kind of push that back and talk to more of our crew here. Uh, tell everybody who you are and why you like working at Sullivan. Okay. My name is Gretel, and I like working here because everyone's really friendly, and it's just a good atmosphere, fun. That's cool. Yeah. Um, the fans seem to not be too upset about the game. Uh, you must keep it happy and light, lighthearted here. Mm -hmm. I try my best, yeah. It's just a fun atmosphere, the beer garden. You know, everyone's, everyone's happy, so just out to have a good time. Good spirit. And just so people are clear, uh, and it's the best analogy, um, your name is like Hansel and Gretel, right? Gretel. Yeah. G-R-E-T-L? D-E-L. So come find her. She's right out of the storybook or something like that. <laughs> and uh, it's a very fun area and a, particularly a fun room. What do they call this room? This is the beer garden. The beer garden. They're playing bags, but they're not exposed to the elements because right. you got the nice roof on it. And a, and a ton of screens. Yes, it's a fun place to be. So come up to Sullivan's. Yes, uh, the biggest bar south of 115th Street. Uh, there you go. Everybody loves it. So the final word, appropriately, should come from my main man, Mitch, who we know from years ago at Mitch's. And, of course, he's here at Sullivan's now uh, and uh, is... Uh, in a, in a very important role with the with the ball club, so to speak. Uh, Mitch, it was a, a rough game from the outset. Uh, what do you think? Unfortunately, folks, it was a total embarrassment for the Chicago Bears. I think it's time we look for a new defensive coordinator on the bye week, and maybe in the future a new coach. I, I hear you. The, the defensive thing, no pressure at all on Brady, loose coverage. I mean, it, it was a mess. Absolutely. A, a national embarrassment. So, the, the good thing is, you can still come to Sullivan's and have fun. I got a trivia game next month, November 14th. Write it on your calendar. And uh, always fun here with a great staff and great food and great drink. We'll see you soon, and we'll be back with more on the Spotlight after these important messages. Salerno's Restaurant and Pizzeria at Grand and Racine is the place to go before United Center Pavilion, Bulls, Hawks, Cubs and Sox too. Dine in or carry out with great family recipes, including homemade pastas, steaks, seafood, a great fun bar area. Meet people. Have a tremendous time at Salerno's Restaurant and Pizzeria Grand and Racine. You'll find a great variety of foods for you to enjoy at Salerno's. Perfect Pitch Auto Repair at Watt 108th and Kedzie is great. Tune-ups, transmissions, AC service, engine repair, tire repair, oil changes. They're open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. They do a great job for me, and they'll do a great job for you. They're quick, and they don't charge an arm and a leg. Perfect Pitch Auto Repair, 108th and Kedzie. You've got to get to Shelton Fireworks, the world's largest warehouse, off Interstate 94, exit 22B in Porter, Indiana. Row after row of the best fireworks anywhere, from the little ones to the grand finales that'll end your show. Birthdays, anniversaries, graduations, in addition to the 4th of July, just get over there to Shelton Fireworks now. Then you can reload by the time summer comes. Shelton Fireworks, I-94, exit 22B in Portage. Reggie's is a great place with tons of music, interesting people and staff, great food and drink, at 21st and State. And amongst the cool things they have, Benkowski Trivia. All shows are now Monday at 6 p.m. Reggie's, 21st and State, a fun place. Tell the fans at home uh, who the famous baseball family members uh, are. Well, my, uh, my dad played 12 years in the big leagues. My dad's name was Dave May. Uh, a lot of people get me confused with Lee May, but my dad was Lee May, but it was Dave May, and uh, he played 12 years in the big leagues, and I'm very proud of it, of that. And um, hopefully I can play as many years as he did. Of course, Carlos May is known to many uh, Chicagoans for his years with the White Sox, but uh, not part of your family tree. Uh, has no relation, yeah. <laughs> you know? 
You know, this does bring up a point, though, and this seems to be the golden era of second-generation baseball players, uh, you know, anywhere from Bonds to Griffey uh, and on. And can you relate to any of those guys, and can you relate any experiences uh, growing up around the ballpark, uh, things that helped you along the way? Well, you know, I think uh, just being around the, the ball ballpark uh, helped us. You know, we couldn't help but pick up a ball or, or a glove or a bat and, or something and, and just start throwing and, and, you know, seeing major leaguers play. And, you know, it's just you feel comfortable. And, you know, I, I think it helped me helped me uh, do when I was growing up. To, you know, pitching was easier, I guess. And, you know, I don't, I don't really know how to explain it. It's just something that we, you know, you you around and you adapted too well and it was just it was just a nice experience. Your dad played for a few teams. Uh, what are your more memorable experiences uh, with his affiliations? Which ballpark did you have the most play fun in, for example? Well, um, I think uh, Milwaukee County Stadium. That was uh, you know my dad spent most of his well we lived there for seven years and uh, yeah, that was my most uh, fondest memories there. Um, there in Atlanta. Uh, you know, uh, I used to go down in the tunnel there and play all the time. So, uh, yeah, I had a, a great experience, and those are my, part of my, my best memories. Any targeted uh, at-bats, uh, totals of RBI, uh, batting average that you seek to, to hit this year? Well, no, I'm going to, uh, you know, I, I said this from the beginning. I think that's it's my approach throughout the season. It's, I'm just going to take it this this at bat, uh, this game, you know, I'm not going to try to look, look, look past that. Um, you know, you got to th keep things in perspective instead of looking at, at long-term goals. I got to, I have to do the best I can to help the team win today. So, you know, that's as far as I'm going to look, and uh, I'll let the numbers, you know, go by themselves. And this is a man you'll be seeing for quite some time at the friendly confines, uh, already with a growing number of uh, fans to watch him. Uh, hitting towards Sheffield, uh, a la Billy Williams. As a matter of fact, the 15-point lead they held after the first quarter made me turn to the guy next to me, and I said, this thing is over, and it was. Michael Jordan could leave the game with three minutes left in the third quarter with a lead of about 37-38, never in doubt. Although Manute Ball entertained the crowd with a couple of baskets, including a three, this game was over very early. The Bulls won handily as expected, and if anything, got a little relaxation heading into the last couple that will decide the division. I guess it's pretty fun to have a laugher for a change, huh? Well, we really need this game uh, to clinch the Central uh, Division and uh, to get the, the starters some rest, and, uh, you know, it's one.